While President Trump was in office, we didn't have a war, and I think he made three peace treaties. Caught Osama, Osama bin Laden and, and Soleimani, al-Baghdadi, and this president is weak. And I'll tell you, weakness breeds aggression. We need strength. We need somebody who will stand up for America and put America first again, like President Donald J. Trump did when he was in office. Go get him, President Donald Trump. That's uh, Representative Lisa McLean up in Michigan during the weekend speaking at Trump's uh, rally out there. And she was talking about, in case you missed it in there, she's talking about how back when Trump was in office, he caught Osama bin Laden, which of course, Everyone knows because when it was happening, there was hatred towards Obama because he was the guy who actually tracked on Osama bin Laden. There was lots of talk about it. I don't think many people could miss it. So she got some pushback, she got some criticism for it. And she tweeted this in response to that criticism for that blatant, outrageous lie. Joe Biden misspeaks every single day and the media pays no attention to it. Isn't it ironic how I'm under attack for an honest mistake? First of all, you're not under attack. These are consequences for you lying. You're in front of a whole bunch of people and you're a, a, a representative. Take responsibility, I thought this is the party of responsibility. Either way it goes, uh, that was an honest mistake to say that Osama bin Laden was captured uh, and killed by and during the Donald Trump administration. Weird how there's a bunch of honest mistakes in this woman's speech. Um, here's another one, watch this. We went from an economy that was booming to a shambles. What we have now is a shambles, it's a complete mess, unemployment. 40 year high, labor shortage, we can't find goods at the store. Unemployment 40 year high and a labor shortage, okay. Either way it goes, here's some actual facts on this from CNN. The unemployment rate is actually near 52 year low, not a 40 year high. The rate in March was 3.6%. Just a tick higher than the Trump era low of 3.5%, which was the lowest since 1969. The unemployment rate has fallen significantly under Biden after rising as high as 14.7 under Trump in 2020. And that's account from the COVID-19 pandemic. It was 6.4% in January of 21, the month Biden was inaugurated. So there's fact number two, two honest mistakes. There can't be a third one. Under President Trump, if my memory serves me correctly, I don't believe we had any wars. We got a war in Ukraine right now, of which we were funding until we decided to put some heavy sanctions on, which still aren't heavy enough. While President Trump was in office, we didn't have a war. And I think he made three peace treaties. That's when she went into her Osama bin Laden line, but there was no wars under President Trump. More information, US ground troops fought under Trump in Afghanistan, Syria, and Iraq. Though Trump did reduce the US military presence in all three countries. A Navy SEAL was killed in 2017 raid against Al Qaeda during Yemen's civil war. The US conducted Trump era airstrikes on ISIS in Libya amid the civil war there. In Somalia, the US conducted airstrikes and was involved in raids against Al Shabaab, which is an Al Qaeda affiliate. So Alonzo, I'm not sure how many more tweets she's gonna put out about these honest mistakes, <laughs> but I get the feeling that the uh, the only honest thing here was the lies. Well, it's funny how things relate, right? How things come full circle. Earlier we were talking about Sununu and the the roast and doing jokes. You know, if you remember when Barack Obama authorized the mission that killed Osama bin Laden, he was hanging out at the White House roast. He he was at the you know what I mean, like he was oh. doing both at the same time. He was at the correspondence dinner after he authorized the raid. He's like, yeah, I could do both at the same time. And I could see where you would forget that. I see, I could see where you would forget, you know, who who got bin Laden. The, the unemployment statistics, all of that other nonsense. See, listen, who goes to a Trump rally looking for truth? You know, that that's the thing. You're you're at a Trump rally. So mm -hmm. you're lying. And and that's, you know. I was at the ocean and the water was wet. I was amazed, right? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it, it, it's nonsense. Again, they, they, when I say they, I mean the media, you know, us, we, this show, any other show, you have to cover this. They're not listening, they, they don't care. When you're standing in front of a Trump rally and you, you lie about what Trump accomplished, 
that crowd's gonna cheer. They have no interest in the truth. So who really cares? And who is this woman? You know, this is another thing. Who is she? Nobody, it's nobody even knows who she is. Like, all it takes, as long as you, you say have Trump to go, won, you're good. It, it's like, remember when Trump was was inaugurated and they were trying to find someone to perform at the inauguration. This is the same thing. Like, you have to go way down the list of politicians to find someone who's going to speak at a Trump rally. You're like, wait a minute, you're on the school board. Good enough. <laughs> come on in. You're, you know, <laughs> so who did who did they find? Listen, Jr. <laughs> They couldn't even get me, all right? That's how bad it is. They couldn't even afford me at a Trump rally, for God's sake. Well, this is the <laughs> advertisement. Maybe maybe they'll reach out now. We'll see if the next one, maybe they'll make it happen. I can't wait, because that'd be awesome.